Hey. So, um, I was I just wanted to speak a little bit to the all of the growth and the milestones that have taken place um, for the two of you over the course of Pitch Lab, um, which is like no small feat. Um, literally, all of the things that that you've managed, all the outcomes you managed to achieve. So, I wanted to just like um, for each of you to just reflect a little bit on some of the biggest milestones that you see in your mind that kind of came out of this program together in like whatever order you guys just can jump in and chat. Good question. So uh, I guess I'll start and answer that by saying uh, it's definitely, you know, for somebody, for both of us who are in our early stage stages of uh, our companies and our journeys, it's often very terrifying to share with a Brought the broader audience what we're doing why we're doing it also the very personal reasons um, each of us started our business businesses and so this has been um i first thank you all of anybody who um, joined on demo day today for listening and joining in but uh this has been an amazing support system for me to uh go public so to speak so I definitely relate to Stacy. The support has been massive to go public. Uh, before I hit the female founders lab, uh, I didn't even imagine to go and pitch uh, my story to someone, uh, especially in English. So it was big overcoming of my fears and from female founders lab and from stacy and actually maggie and Milima, i got so much more so much support and uh, motivation and they encouraged me and i truly opened up i think yeah it's been really amazing watching both of your um both of you just becoming so visible and bold with uh what you're sharing and also deciding to really like assertively go forward and raise those funds. So that's been amazing. Um, also, so I also wanted to speak a little bit to um, the way that we hold your broader vision for the industry or the system that you're operating in. And so did you feel like, um, you know, like, how did you feel like uh, that was uh, how like your vision was held in this container, maybe as compared to joining another accelerator or different sorts of, uh, you know, group programs you might have been in in the past. Uh, vision definitely matured over time. So definitely, I you know I think that in other uh, forums that I've participated in, that it's often a lot about the features and. The, uh, the mechanics of the business and uh, forgetting the, the why and the so what and the what like what happens at the end what happens for your users once they what's once they you know what what value are you delivering them and also what change are you giving the world and then also thinking about resourcing that too so there is this there when I first got started getting started there is this there's these ideas that this is what your pre-seed stage that looks like this is what your seed stage sounds like and instead thinking about okay well, this is what like this is what this vision requires and uh to, and to do it well and i think that's also especially for women we're, we're known for not asking for it as much as they are male founder counterparts and that ends up setting us at a disadvantage in terms of what we can deliver and and, and also clips clips the dream from the start. Like, you know that what you need to do, what you need is this for this particular vision. And and so that I think is just like kind of looking at it more holistically of, okay, like this is the chain, this is what transformation truly looks like. And then this is what it actually will take to do that. And, um, but in a, in a realistic manner and not, and also not being unapologetic in asking for that both that change and also that the process to occur. I just really feel that I have crystallized uh, our vision and uh, for myself, especially I have done uh, research before, but now I have done it even more and gone 
deeper and deeper and understand what we want to achieve, like in wider scope. And um, if we compare with other programs, I really like uh, that we are focusing on storytelling because having a time, seven minutes per pitch is actually extraordinary usually. In our side, it's usually three minutes or maximum five minutes. So to tell your story and to get your story in a better condition and uh, all this motivation and uh, believing yourself, uh, which I have gained during the six weeks, is this is just an amazing thing. <laughs> So thank you. Awesome. Um, okay, so last question is that like, what is the one thing you're hopeful for um, for the future of, of the world for your industry? What's one like what you're hopeful for slash would love to create? I can answer. <laughs> uh, I really hope that uh, Besides all this te technology and these improvements that we don't forget to spend time with our child children because it's really important and uh, the children are the ones who are starting to grow up and uh, bring us to a better future basically. So we need to really focus the, on our children and I also really what I really want to have is that, uh, like I said on the beginning of the pitch, that uh, that it would be a safer place for our children, that we wouldn't expose ourselves so much, that we that we would be good examples to them, and we actually would value the story of our families, not only the physical story how we get into this world, but actually how our grandparents came here, what they did, how they lived, what happened, what our parents did, da, 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 that they would rem remember that story also, because this is actually really valuable. That's beautiful, Trina. And to add to that, um, a bit different, but I would love to see a world where you can do anything, be anything, um, professionally, personally, creatively, and uh, that you're supported to do that. I, I mean, obviously, there's there's some you know limitations, like like uh, that whole idea of being the struggling artist. You might always be a, like that. There might be the finances might not be there, but that um, on the health side of things, that that's not an obstacle. That like people aren't staying in jobs that they hate or that aren't you know don't don't fit them or don't serve them or don't work with their family life because they're working hundred hour weeks because they need that health insurance that that's something that is a freeing that it's not no longer a constraint in our society amazing thank you ladies uh thanks for being part of this and um it's been great hearing you present yourself um for those who want to get in touch after i'll, I'll be sending a follow-up email feel free to email us um,